Today I'm going to demonstrate a free sketch exercise over a race car chassis. Once you've learned the basics of sketching with inkbrush, moving and scaling, and importing prefabbed objects like the race car chassis, you have a great foundation to begin uh, doing some really cool 3D sketch exploration. So uh, one of the things I'd like to, to explain first is that the race car chassis comes in as a single group. You can ungroup that chassis if you wish to change the proportions. Let's say I wanted to go from a mid-engine design to more of a front engine design. Then I can grab the, the driving uh, envelope and shift it rearward. Now I have uh, a front engine vehicle. I'm going to do mid-engine, so that's where we're going to stay. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer. So that's, that's the package layer, so I'm going to lock that. And so now I can't accidentally select the package. And I have my, my drawing layer, so I'm going to call that sketch. And I'm ready to go. Also, you'll see the default uh, color for your ink brush is this medium gray, and it's sort of this um, basic shader, so it kind of it has this tubular look to it. Uh, looks like looks like a tube of toothpaste. What I like to do when I'm sketching is I like to switch to like uh, I like to switch to a black and make it a flat material, and that gives you something much more like an ink line. Also, remember you can uh, change the size of your brush. You can go bigger by by moving your thumb joystick to the right, or you can make a, a thinner line by moving your thumb joystick to the left. So you have a lot of control on how, to, uh, how you want to uh, weight your lines and emphasize and de-emphasize certain things. So uh, with that, uh, I've turned on my mirror plane as well. So, uh, so anything I sketch is symmetrical. I'm just going to go ahead and, and start sketching. And so you can see I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm moving around the space quite a bit. 3D sketching is a very, uh, it, it could be very daunting to do at first. It's, it's very uh, unnatural. We're used to sketching two-dimensionally on paper. 3D sketching is a little bit of a learned skill, but something that with, with a lot of practice and muscle memory, uh, you can master. So, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm moving the, the object around. I, I, I like to use the natural arc of my arm to, to get the lines that I want. And so, so what I'm doing is I'm keeping it loose, I'm keeping it dirty. You can see I'm doing a lot of undos. Um, starting to lay out my fender lines. A lot of this stuff we can move and adjust as we go. So I'm just, I'm just sketching out my, my wheel openings. I want these very directional wheel openings. But as I said, you can adjust things as you go. So if I need to uh, move things around a little bit to get, to get them moving in the right direction, I can do that. I can also edit my lines. I can grab control points and I can move my control points where they need to go. So you just gotta keep moving around the space and and seeing things from all angles. It's just like working on a physical model, on a three-dimensional physical model, like a clay model, where you just have to look at it from all angles to see uh, where the lines are really going. But, you know, just keep your arm loose, you know, work from the shoulder, and just try to keep moving the model in the direction of the natural flow of your arm. Try not to go against the arc of your arm. You know, keep, just keep looking at the car from all angles. You can always adjust it. You can always edit it. You can see my, my front bumper is going below the ground right now, so I just have to bring that up, rotate it a little bit. This is, this is free sketching, so we're, we're just doing a, a quick and dirty, loose 3D sketch. Not going for precision here. There are, are ways to do more precise sketches, and we'll, we'll get into that in a later tutorial. 
where I'm just sketching out all the all the section lines, all the key character lines. Not really knowing where I'm going to end up. Uh, just this is like I said, a free sketch exploration. Maybe I'll draw some, some cross sections, just to give myself an idea of what, what the surfaces might be doing. Maybe draw another cross section over the, the bonnet, over the front fender. And draw a center line. As you see, it can be very difficult to draw a center line, but one thing you can do is just just draw draw it as close as you can. You can see it's, that line is way off, but then go into edit mode. Maybe simplify your points a bit so you can uh, get a nice smooth curve. And then you can take these lines and use these uh, control points and snap them to the mirror plane. Okay, once they're snapped to the mirror plane, now I can bring them down. They'll stay snapped to the mirror plane, and I can edit that center line. And I can get something that's much closer to, to what I want. So, as you can see, I'm getting a very nice dimensional looking 3D sketch that I can use as a basis for, uh, for 2D sketching. So perhaps I can take some screenshots and uh, do some sketchovers in, in 2D. Or I can go on and build a full-scale sub-D model. And there you have a nice, quick 3D sketch that you can use to start your project. So going into my ink settings, and turn on polar symmetry, set my axis of rotation to align with the front wheel, maybe draw some... I can take these spokes and group them and then duplicate them, send them back using smart move. Bring them out a little bit. So now if I turn off my so now if I turn off my uh, package layer, I've got a really cool 3D sketch going on here.